hello everyone today i am going to explain a new topic that is turbines see i think uh, you all aware of uh, today's energy scenario see for uh, developing countries like uh, india the energy requirement will be very high so i think you all know the environment is the uh, biggest source of uh, energy here we need to make use of uh, some devices to convert the naturally available resources into that is other suitable form okay here the turbine will play a very important role means the turbines are the those devices which convert the naturally available resources like uh, water and gas into other forms means what a uh, mechanical energy which is again interconverted into electrical energy okay see what i mean by turbine see the turbine is derived from a latin word turbo which means spin or wheel which means the turbines are the machines which produce that is rotational motion okay then what is the clear definition of that is a turbine see turbines are the machines which are mainly used to produce continuous power and they are mainly provided with the vanes or blades which are attached to the wheel or rotor okay when water with a high velocity or a gas with a high velocity when it strikes the turbine blades then what will happen the rotor will make a rotational motion so that you will get a mechanical energy now types of turbines there are mainly three types of turbines are there first one steam turbine second one gas turbine or uh, combustion turbines and the last one water or hydraulic turbine see before going to study about uh, all these uh, turbines you need to know what is nozzle effect that is a very important part in case of turbines okay see the diagram shows the the picture of uh, nozzle see nozzle is uh, mainly consist of uh, one entry and uh, exit and in between entry and exit there is a throat okay at the entry of the nozzle you need to supply a high pressure and low velocity jet of steam okay here i am explaining the nozzle which is used in case of uh, steam turbines okay see when that high pressure low velocity jet of steam when it passes through the throttle there what happens is there the expansion of the steam takes place i think you all know if expansion takes place what will happen the velocity that is the kinetic energy of the steam will be increases okay so at the exit of the nozzle you will get a low pressure and high velocity jet of steam okay that is what the nozzle effect see if i consider um, at the entry water there what will happen then you need to supply high pressure and low velocity jet of water when it passes through the throttle what will happen their expansion takes place so that at the exit you will get a low pressure high velocity jet of water okay now water turbines see water turbines are those devices which convert the hydraulic energy of the water into mechanical energy see in case of water turbine what happens is for a flowing river first we need to construct a dam or reservoir like structure so that we can store the water from that uh, reservoir or uh, from that particular dam you need to supply water to the turbine station by making use of pipe like structures those are what we call as penstocks okay there when that uh, water with a high velocity when it strikes the turbine blades the turbine blades which are connected to the rotor they will make a rotational motion means what here the potential energy which is stored see we can observe that potential energy when we store the water and we can observe kinetic energy when that stored water will be flown by using that pipes that is penstocks then when water with a high kinetic energy when it strikes the turbine blades 
which are connected to the rotor it will make a rotational motion there we will observe a mechanical energy that is the hydraulic energy or the potential energy and kinetic energy of the water it will be converted into mechanical energy okay see further uh, these turbines are they are connected to the generator part by using a shaft so that we can convert that mechanical energy into electrical energy now classification of water turbines see the water turbines are classified are based on action of water into two types one is impulsive turbine that is the best example is a pelton wheel and the next one a reaction turbine example francis and kaplan turbine see in case of a impulsive turbine means here the pressure energy of the water first it has to be converted into velocity by making use of what one or more number of nozzles as i already told you about the nozzle effect when water with the high pressure when it passes through the nozzle at the exit of the nozzle you will get what that is high velocity jet of water because of the expansion phenomena inside the nozzle when the water with a high velocity when it strikes the turbine blades which are connected to the rotor there what happens is the rotor will make a rotational motion so that you will get a mechanical energy and see these impulsive turbines are what these are uh, high head and low discharge turbines see high head means what here the pressure will be very high see how you are going to get that high pressure in case of impulsive turbine the water will be stored for a very larger height in some of the cases here it will be greater than 1000 feet okay but the discharge will be low okay as i told you the example is what that is pelton wheel and the next one reaction turbines see the reaction turbines are uh, those type of turbines which requires a low head with a high rate of flow okay see in case of reaction turbine the water supply to the reaction turbine it possesses both pressure as well as kinetic energy okay see all the pressure energy of the water is not completely converted into kinetic energy in case of reaction turbine means in case of impulsive turbine by making use of nozzle effect we will convert the whole pressure energy of the water it will be converted into kinetic energy but in case of reaction turbine it is a little different means here it is provided with the two types of blades one is moving blade another one is guide blade okay see the main purpose of guide blade is to what it guides the water to fall on the moving blade okay and in case of moving blade what happens is that the pressure contained by the water it will be converted into kinetic energy and that kinetic energy it will be absorbed by the winds so that the rotor will make a rotational motion okay see now we can conclude that at the entry of the reaction turbine we are supplying a that is the water with a some amount of a high pressure and kinetic energy and at the exit we are getting a, a low pressure water isn't it see this difference in pressure is what we call as a reaction pressure okay this reaction pressure it it acts on the moving blades of the turbine wheel and sets up the turbine wheel into rotational motion okay the example is what that is francis and kaplan turbine if you like this video share with your friends and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you will get a notification when i upload my next video Thank you.